Union Pacific getting ready to cross through. What a train. We're at Eisenpah Road in Mojave National Preserve. In case you're watching this as a short. Sorry about the wind, it's windy. I'll go up and see if I can get a better look at them. Pacific 7966. I just asked the con conductor, they said they're gonna, or engineer, they said they're gonna be here about another 25 minutes. They wait for the passes, only one over a pass at a time. That is some train, we can only see about half of it. Just roaring across the desert. And then we got this weirdness out here. Solar panels, I guess. Don't know. That's where he's headed. So now we're on on the road coming south and past Goffs. And that's Mojave Preserve out there. We'll show you a little more of that in a second. I'm gonna turn around and show you. Here comes a BNSF train. Remember, it was Union Pacific inside the preserve. Now here going right along the edge is a BNSF train. It's a big one, it'll be behind me for a little while, I think. I wanted to show you over here. Now this part of the preserve looks like this. from out, out there. We're gonna head out that way and back up in about 20 miles west. Yeah, that... For the way this is going, a number of Yep, three in the front, two in the back. It's your standard mile, I think. Might be longer than that, though, these days. Who knows what they're up to now. Somebody knows what they're up to. I don't, though. I know some of them... I think they average 150 cars, but it, it could be more, again, it could be more than that now. It could be 200. This one is all containers. So we might as well watch it go. And we just about got all of it here. Oh yeah, they're definitely pushing too. All these extra engines aren't for show on this train. Nope. You don't have five locomotives for no reason on a on a mountain pass. They're pushing and pulling. 